example, question says find the determinant using elementary column operation. So remember, so far we talked about elementary row operation. And we saw that if we switch to rows or interchange two rows, the determinant of the resulting matrix is negative to the determinant of the first matrix. You also saw that if you add multiple of one row to another row, the determinants are going to be the same, and the scalar multiplication by a non-zero element like C, a non-zero scalar like C, result in the determinant of B becomes C times the determinant of A. Now, here we can just generalize the idea to column operation, working with columns. Interchanging two columns, adding multiples of the first column uh, by a scalar, and you know, adding that to the next column, and so on. Take a look at this here. Why sometimes we need to use column operation? Here we have a cool observation. The observation that we have is related to columns. What is the relation between these two columns? If I multiply the very first element by negative two, I get the second element here. Multiply three by negative two, I get negative six. Multiply five by negative two, I get negative 10. So you have an observation. First column and the second column are multiples of each other. So what are we going to do? We're going to multiply the first column by um, two, two times column one and add it to the second column. And this guy becomes your new second column. Take a look at this. This matrix becomes, well, this is negative one multiplied by two plus two, this becomes a zero. So you have negative one, three and five, multiplying the first column by two and adding that to the second column. So you have negative two, you have six, you have 10 added to two, negative six and negative 10. This guy becomes zero, zero and zero, zero and zero and zero. But the last column stays the same, two, four, negative three. Well, so what's next? This is my new matrix. What is the determinant of this matrix? The determinant is zero. Why? Because we have a zero column. So as long as you have one zero column, all elements on that column are zero, the determinant becomes zero. You can basically expand with respect to this column.